May 16th, 2022, a day that will live in infamy. Visionary thinker Jordan Peterson sat down and put pen to paper to combat the tyranny of political correctness. Sorry, not beautiful. And no amount of authoritarian tolerance is going to change that. The response was immediate. Peterson was besieged by rabid SJWs calling him a jerk for coming after a random woman. I don't even know what to say to this. It's so mean. Just think about the sick sort of mindset you have to have to see a woman on the cover of Sports Illustrated and think, I gotta take this broad down a peg. I gotta let everyone know she's ugly. You know to combat authoritarianism. It's wild that Jordan Peterson views people having different preferences than him as some sort of like disturbance of the natural order. I mean, ironically, that's a very authoritarian mindset to have. Authoritarian tolerance, what a dramatic phrase. Have you noticed that conservatives always take their politics to such an apocalyptic place? This is a Sports Illustrated cover. There's really nothing here politically unless your brain is full of radioactive sand. But I guess when you're a hammer, everything starts to look like a cultural Marxist. Nevertheless, our intrepid hero stuck to his guns. It's a conscious progressive attempt to manipulate and retool the notion of beauty, reliant on the idiot philosophy that such preferences are learned and properly changed by those who know better. I mean... Let's think this through for a second. Is Sports Illustrated doing this because they're a company trying to make money by appealing to a wider audience? Because yes, Jordan, believe it or not, some people do have different preferences than you do. Or, all right, option two, are the people at Sports Illustrated progressive activists who are trying to reshape the beauty standard because they feel like it. Oh, wait, I forgot. They must be cultural Marxists. Also, is it really an idiot philosophy to say that beauty standards are learned? Our buddy Jordan cites two studies which essentially say people are attracted to attractive people, which is, you know, basically a tautology. They don't seem to say anything about how people get those preferences, though. Does Peterson really think that beauty standards have been static for all of human history until the cultural Marxists that Sports Illustrated decided to tinker with them. But no matter. Despite continuing to spit facts and citing studies that definitely do not support what he was trying to say, the ratioing was relentless. Jordy was besieged on all sides, except a few brave soldiers who dared to take a stand against the promotion of unhealthy obesity, as opposed to skinny models who famously lead very healthy lifestyles. The fatal blow came when Peterson was betrayed by his allies, saying, nah, I actually find this woman kind of attractive. In the end, it was all too much to bear, and Dr. Jordan Peterson was forced to retreat from the Twitter platform. The endless flood of vicious insult is really not something that can be experienced anywhere else. I like to follow the people I know, but I think the incentive structure of the platform makes it intrinsically and dangerously insane. And honestly, I kind of feel for Peterson a little bit. It would be really awful to have random people insulting you on the internet.